Hello! So this video is going to be about from the moment I woke up from surgery to now. My surgery was on the 1st of May, today is the 5th of May, so I'm not very far out. So I woke up in the recovery room, which is just a room where they keep you until you're ready to be taken back into your bedroom in the hospital. So in the recovery room, I really don't remember much at all except somebody, a nurse, just talking to me. And uh, I had an oxygen mask over my face. Um, I literally only woke up, saw her face, and then I was woke up again in my room. And when I woke up in my room, so I went in for surgery around 4 p.m. And I was in my room conscious at around 7 or 8 p.m. And I was just kind of drifting in and out of sleep. Obviously, I would have been doped up on painkillers. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to, I wasn't allowed to have the suppository painkiller because I'm allergic to some medication which was in it. So I had to make do with uh, morphine and whatever else they put in my drip. So I woke up in my room, got a drip in my cannula, laying on the bed, propped up, not really knowing what's going on, but feeling absolutely fine. People popping in, checking on me, saying things to me and me sometimes understanding what they're saying and sometimes it just going because I'm still coming around from the uh, anaesthesia but yeah there was none of the crazy oh where am I what's going on which is what I was worried about I start screaming and saying oh I've been abducted by aliens so I was quite quite happy and relaxed I mean it could have been drugs that they'd pumped into me I think I might have said actually in the recovery room, I'm drunk. Because you know when you're drunk and you've got room spin and you look and things are just moving like around. That's how I felt. So that was uh, obviously some kind of medication to uh, keep me relaxed. Um, and yeah, as I started to wake up, I didn't really have too much pain. I couldn't see my incisions or anything because I was, you know, all gowned up and everything. Other people were popping in um, to check on me regularly. I managed to get my phone, send a couple of text messages to friends and family just saying, hey, I'm out. And um, from then I just got more and more conscious and uh, just kept having my stats checked, blood pressure, the little oximeter on your finger again. And um, yeah, a nurse looked after me through the night. And then I was, I pressed my buzzer, I needed to go to the toilet. Oof, getting out of bed was not easy. Now I'm going to show you my incisions. So if you don't want to see them, and I wouldn't blame you, don't look for the next 10 seconds. Here we go. Five. One, two, three, four. Five. They look pretty much the same as they did on the day. Maybe a bit worse now because he's bruising. So they're not that scary. Not like I was worried that they might be. And uh, it was just quite hard to come around and function normally for a while. I was very confused and kind of just not used to my body feeling. It felt like someone was inside grabbing all my organs, holding them really tight. So when I tried to move, they, everything was like, uh, uh, couldn't move it and it was very kind of painful. But they did keep on top of medication, giving me paras liquid paracetamol every, every, what is it, every four hours. Um, and then the next day, I just slept and the nurses came in and I think it must have been the afternoon and they said oh we hoped that you'd wake up but we because we wanted to make you drink some water and some 
uh, take some medication but I was fast asleep and sleep is good for your healing so they just left me to it um, but that was great so when I woke up had a few a few more tests a bit more medication had a little walk around went to the toilet so before they'll discharge you you have to meet the requirements so they'll take some more blood from you and test your white blood cell count and your red blood cells and your blood pressure and your everything else and you also have to produce a certain amount of urine bear with me I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> oh! <sighs> sneezing it's not advised by me it hurts my muscles are quite painful around the incisions that I showed you so sneezing and coughing yeah, they're, they're a luxury that you know, don't really get anymore. Sorry, where was I? So yeah, and you have to produce a certain amount of urine and drink a certain amount of water before they will discharge you to see that you're able to drink and it is flowing through you correctly. And obviously that your stats are coming back okay. So one of the things, I said, oh, I assume it all went well then. And the nurse said, well, you actually had um, a hiatus hernia repair as well. I said, what? I didn't even know I had a hiatus hernia or what, what, what one was. So they explained to me that while they were in there looking to carry out the sleeve, a hiatus hernia was discovered and it is just above the stomach. So let's say that's the tube so my, my fist is the stomach and then the tube is my finger poking out the top so like there was like a bubble around the finger so like the base of the esophagus the start of the stomach the stomach had kind of come up out into like a bubble and in hindsight I do remember there was a time at work where I picked up a really heavy box and I was holding my breath when I picked it up and I felt a sharp pain up here. And when I said that had happened, they said, oh yeah, that'll be it. So to repair that, what they do is take a piece of your stomach and just wrap it around the expanded, weakened part, you know, pull it back together to the size it should be and then stitch the piece of stomach around the tube to reinforce it. So obviously it was a great time for them to do that because they were removing 90% of my stomach and it would have been the only opportunity to use that stomach which was going in the bin to repair my hernia. So I was really happy that they had, that they took that opportunity to repair it while I was under that anesthesia. So I got two operations in one. <coughs> I'm going to stop the video here to have a bit of a rest. And then I'll get back to telling you about my discharge from hospital and how it's been at home for a few days. <coughs> 